Glad to have you back, me old chums. Have I got some news for yous. The Black Armor expansion just got a whole lot more interesting. The third forge, the Is an Army Forge, is now accessible, and with it comes some tasty little extras. The third mysterious box key. The third and final secret emblem that once unlocked teases future content. A new exotic bow, plus a plot twist worthy of M. Night Effing Shyamalan. I am, of course, talking about the return of Prince Emo. Look at those two eyes. It's like two piss holes in the snow. The bastard that killed Kate is back. And there's more. Of course there's more. We're gonna open an exotic engram, have a look at the Black Armor's future content, open an exclusive gift from Zavala, and of course indulge in the usual news update. Okay then, so let's start with the third mysterious box key. The first thing you'll need to do is unlock the Is an Army Forge, and you do this by completing a quest that can only be described as unbearably long. My god, did this quest drag on. Now, to kick off the quest, go to Nessus and kill Vex. One of these time-traveling bastards will randomly drop a Vex transponder. Now, it's worth noting that these only have a chance of dropping if you've already completed the Gafanon Forge. Now, buckle up, because there's an ungodly amount of quest steps that you'll now need to complete to unlock this third forge. As you can see, one of the Vex randomly dropped the Vex transponder that you need to kick off the Is an Army Forge quest. It didn't take me long. It's just a matter of shooting them until they drop it. Nice. Now, the last step of this quest is to hook up with Robo Douche Ada, and as a reward, she'll give you a bow frame. Make sure you get this thing forged, because it's going to come in useful later. Okay, then, so here we are inside the Is an Army Forge. You'll need to locate and shoot two shield drones. Now, the first one spawns in on that pillar, and the second one spawns in on that pillar. Now, these things only appear at the very start of the second wave of enemies, so let's shoot these things. Okay then, so here's the first little blighter. Go on, shoot it until it's nout but dust. And here's its sibling. Go on, wipe out the entire family, you cold-hearted bastard. Okay then, so once you've decimated those innocent little darlings, you'll find this chest at the end of the third wave. Simply collect the loot within, and you'll get the third key. The key is the one with the butterfly symbol on it. Nice. And now it's simply a case of unlocking the butterfly lock with your newly acquired key. If you want to know how to acquire the first two keys, I've linked a guide in the description box below. I'll explain how you get the the fourth key a little later in this video. Next up, we have the third secret emblem. Yep, those code-cracking geniuses over on Reddit solved the French glyph puzzle. You'll need the forge bow, the spiteful fang, in order to highlight the invisible glyphs scattered around the Volunder Forge. You'll need to shoot these glyphs in the order shown here to unlock a secret emblem and activate a crest. Now, if you've unlocked all three secret emblems, well, a secret message awaits you. A message that potentially hints at future content, so let's have a look at it. So yeah, unlocking an emblem also allows you to activate a crest. Once you've unlocked all three emblems, you can activate all three of the crests scattered throughout the Valunda Forge. Do so, and you'll be rewarded with a secret message. What you're seeing here is the location of all three of the crests. Let's speed this shit up. So then, here's the message. It reads, With eyes fixed, past dawn's end, the fourth flame will rise. Bring the knowledge obtained to the Raiders of Secrets. Steal thyself. Now, the fourth flame is most likely a reference to the fourth secret forge, the Bogosia Forge, which is linked to the upcoming Niobe Labs. That's the next scheduled content drop for the Black Armory. Here's a cheeky little teaser. So here, yeah, the fourth mystery box key is linked to Nobi Labs and the secret fourth forge, the Bogosia Forge. So I guess we'll just have to wait for these to become available on January 8th. Time-gated quest, yes it is. And guys, here's a little breaking news for you. Bungie has officially confirmed that yes, Nobi Labs will indeed unlock the fourth forge. Here's exactly what the studio said. Nobi Labs is set to go live on January 8th. It's not a dungeon, but an event that will ultimately unlock the final forge. Next up, the brand new exotic Black Armory bow, Le Monarch, has been added to the forge loot tables. There's no quest, no special mission, no secret code to crack. To get this bow, you need to get lucky. It drops randomly from defeating forge bosses. Now, the drop rate for this thing seems pretty damn low, because I've farmed around 50 forges and have yet to get this thing. So yeah, like I said, completely RNG based. Good luck. May RNGs smile upon thee. Now, one of my lovely Twitter followers, Stream Central HD, offered to lend me his account so I could try this bow out for myself. Thanks, mate. I've left a link to his Twitch channel in the description 
box below, go show him some love. So yeah, if you fire an arrow quickly after a full draw, that arrow becomes poisonous. Precision hits with poison arrows spreads that poison to nearby enemies. So the most effective way to poison your enemies is to, well, keep firing your arrows in quick succession, remembering of course to always fully draw back your bow. And if you're wondering, this bow sits in your energy slot. So yeah, old school fans of Thorn will very much enjoy watching enemies burn out to the poison. Nasty. Next up, we're going to look at the biggest plot twist in Destiny's history. And to witness this narrative bombshell, you'll need to complete this week's offering to the Oracle. And then make your way over to the shimmering purple hologram on the left. Do so, and you'll be rewarded with a cutscene that'll make you question, well, everything. Lean closer, my friend. Shit's about to get real. The Dreaming City in all its magnificent glory. Enter a ghost. And not just any old ghost. This little guy has his own lore. He's called Pulled Pork. Yeah, for real. And he's described as a very sweet, very earnest ghost that's been looking for his guardian for a long, long time. And now it seems he's found him. And this is where the mother of all plot twists comes into play. The lifeless body this ghost resurrects is none other than Prince Emo. Now, the consequences of this dramatic development will inevitably be massive. I mean, just think about it. The guy who gunned down Cade in cold blood is back. How will Cade's closest allies, Zavala and Ikora, and of course that effing chicken react to his return? It's worth noting that resurrected guardians experience total memory loss, and so Prince Emo will remember nothing of his previous actions, no memories of the past, no recollection of the bullet he ended Cade with. He's now a blank slate. We now have an unwitting newborn walking into a world that he has unknowingly impacted beyond measure. Now that's some interesting shit right there. Bungie could take this storyline in so many directions, so it'll be genuinely fascinating to see how this all pans out. And of course, there's the small issue of Cade's dare. Any hunter who kills him not only gets all his possessions, but has to take up the role of Hunter Vanguard. So does Prince Emo, who seems to be resurrected as a hunter, qualify for this? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All I know is this, Destiny's story just got a whole lot more interesting. And there's more. Mara Sov is no longer in her court. All that's left is a chest that contains a fascinating bit of lore. Now this entry is called Medusa, and according to the lore, Medusa is a golden age AI designed for covert operations to collect and analyze human intelligence and a secret watcher over the Dreaming City. Now this entry ends on a rather desperate plea for help. It is imperative that the Dreaming City be held at all costs, even the cost of abandoning all other human and neo-human civilization in the solar system. Send more guardians, send every guardian if you must, this city cannot fall. So yeah, the plot thickens. Okay then, so I'm now going to grab my gratitude package from Commander Zavala. Now this package was given as a kind of special freebie to all players who play the Forsaken expansion before October 16th, so I'm going to grab that and see what I get from it. Oh my god, we've got a hell of a lot of stuff, um, let's check it all out. Okay then, so first up, we got the Veteran of the Hunt emblem so let me just pop that on and as you can see we also have these two new exotic emotes so let me just preview that this is the knife trick emote that's uh, that's pretty decent and as you can see we also have the coin flip emote is it going to be heads or tails who the f knows and check it out we also got some finest matter weave so let me just use that that'll be good for getting me some enhancement cores nice and check this out we've also got this delicious new shader shrouded stripes let me preview that and see what my hunter looks like in that new shader if it loads in because the loading times on this thing are damn insane right okay as you can see it's I don't know, it's okay actually, it's got this kind of weird little leopard print thing going on, okay. And guys, check it out, your boy has finally unlocked the Wayfarer title, so you know, I can show off how much of a no-life loser nerd I am, nice. And check this out, an exotic triumph. Destiny gamer Tidepool Tom completed the Black Armory Triumph Master Smith, and he got this exotic sparrow as a reward, the Platinum Starling. Tom sir, you are a grinding champion, god bless ya. Now, while grinding forges in the hope of getting that damn exotic bow, I instead got a page to drop from the Black Armory papers. It's called Entry 10, and it's just a little more lore to help flesh out the game. Okay then guys, it's now time for my favourite part of the video, of that sweet, precious loot. Now the only Forsaken exotic that I don't have so far is Lord of Wolves, so that's exactly what I'm hoping to get, so wish me luck. Lord of Wolves is the only one I need, a Booyaxi Shaxi. We got the worst exotic in the entire game, the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves. It's shit. 
Okay then guys, so let's end with some more loot. Now the only good thing about grinding so many damn forges in the hope of getting that exotic bow is that I got an F load of bright engrams. So let's open these up and hopefully I can get some exotics or some of those multiplayer emotes which are actually pretty cool. So let's just blast through all of this trash and hopefully we, we see an exotic drop or, oh we got the fist bump, nice. So I definitely want to collect all of the multiplayer emotes. I think I just need the chest bump now to complete the trilogy of uh, multiplayer emotes. So can I get the chest bump? That would be quite nice. We're just getting trash upon trash. No, and let's just open this last one up. So, oh, we got a we we got an exotic in the end. Nice, that came in clutch. Now, guys, we're almost approaching 900,000 subscribers, which for a nerdy little channel that only covers Destiny is. It's actually pretty mental, so I just want to thank you for caring about this content, for tuning in, for liking the videos, for leaving a comment, or for simply just watching. I'm genuinely grateful that you keep coming back, so I just want to say thank you so much. If we ever get to a million subscribers, I promise I'll do something special. And guys, if you want to watch a huge news video that talks about the last word, click the on-screen image. Thank you so much for watching, enjoy your Christmas, and we'll speak again very soon.